to watch the full lecture of all subjects kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon because whenever i post the new videos you will get the immediate notifications hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this particular video we will be solving a problem in which we need to find out the payback period method the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question or at least pause the video and write down the question so that if you solve along with me, you will understand it in a better way. Calculate payback period method. So we need to calculate payback period method. Particulars they have given project X and project Y. So both project X and project Y we need to calculate. They have given the purchase price and they have even given the estimated life of the asset. So estimated life project X is 8 years and project Y is 10 years. Cash inflow before depreciation after tax. Very, very important. For payback period, cash inflow. It is also a profit we can call. It should be always CFBDAT. What is the CFBDAT? CFBDAT is nothing but cash flow before depreciation. Cash flow before depreciation after tax. So in some problem, they would have given after depreciation, after tax. That time we have to convert it because for payback period, we require CFBDAT only. And in question also, they have given BDAT before depreciation, after tax. So what we want, they have given the same profit. So project X is 20,000, project Y is 24,000. Now let us try to solve the problem. So they have given even cash inflow. So every year is getting... 20,000 and 24,000. So it's even method. So solution. Calculation of. Calculation of payback period. So we are calculating payback period. So first let us calculate for project X. What is the payback period formula? The formula to find out the payback period is original investment or initial investment original investment or initial investment divided by annual cash inflow so original investment divided by annual cash inflow so we are solving now for project x project x what is the original investment purchase price is also original investment so 1 lakh project x original investment is 1 lakh rupees divided by annual cash inflow it is 20,000 20,000 so when you divide it the answer will be 5 years means whatever the amount we have invested we are getting it in within 5 years now let us calculate for project Y now what is the formula same let us write the formula it is original investment divided by annual cash inflow. Now, project Y original investment or purchase price is one lakh sixty eight thousand. One lakh sixty eight thousand divided by what is the cash inflow? Annual cash inflow. It is twenty four thousand. So, 1,68,000, 1,68,000 divided by 24,000 will be 7. So, answer will be 7 years. So, whatever the money they have invested, they are getting back in the 7 years. So, in this problem, we try to solve when two projects are given. Hope you have understood this problem very well without any doubt. If you have any doubt, try solving once again by yourself. That time, if you get any doubt, please put all your doubts and queries in the comment box so that I'll respond to your doubts and queries as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the video. I'll come back with the next video. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.